okay guys so i'm having my 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 that i have cooked today i'm just starting to eat it and i say you know what let me jump on here this is it i start as you can see i cut out that part already and i start to eat it and i have some lemon here just to squeeze the lemon all over the mai mai because you know lemon go good with fish and yeah it, i find it bring out the flavor more i have some jamaica hot sauce shake that up and i'm just going to drop it you know all over it like that i like a light a lot of pepper inside fish also whenever time i make fish i want to taste the pepper in it and yeah basically um this my my i call it creole my but a lot of people will call it like black in my because it's black so they will say it's black in my 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 as to white people they will call this black in my but i call it creole my there's a lot of way you can make um creole my because um when i used to work by the french restaurant in maho what we used to do we used to grill the mai mai after we grill it we used to finish it off inside the oven like just for the sides them to get the grill mark and then we finish it off in the oven but for the sauce for the mai mai we used to put fresh carrot carrot blend the carrot with onion with parsley with red pepper green pepper bells and with olive oil and salt and pepper to taste and we used to leave it I put it in a container put all those mixture the the carrot the onion the red pepper the green pepper the garlic the salt the pepper put it in a container and then we pour the olive oil on top of it and we mix it up whenever time the mine may come out of the oven we will place it on the plate and then we will just take a spoon of it to give it like you know run it across it like so and they call that creole mai mai in that french restaurant there's another way you can do it also you can pan pan store steer or where you call i don't know what word you call it but i i will call it pan fry the fish the mai mai and after you pan fry the mai mai you finish it off in the oven again and then you chop up some white onion some scallion a little bit of thyme a little bit of garlic with some olive oil even if you have vegetable oil because not a lot of people can afford the olive oil because olive oil is expensive the good olive oil you have cheap olive oil you have expensive olive oil but not a lot of people can afford it in this day and time so you could just use some vegetable oil inside it and you put it in the mixture of the onion the scallion the thyme the garlic you mix it up and you place it on top or you could use again you could use onion and hot pepper with olive oil or vegetable oil and you could put that on the top and you can call it creole mai mai whichever way you feel like doing it is the same there's there's nothing different the taste basically is the same the only difference is the mai mai you will get it dry and not wet but this is a wet version where you you fry the fish and then you saute your vegetable and then you add it in your sauce with your red pepper green pepper onion scallion and your thyme and you place it in the pot add a little bit of water to it leave that steam down then you had your tomato ketchup to it if you have saison you can use saison but i didn't use saison today because i did not have saison so i have a season i get from jamaica i can't really remember the name because it didn't come inside a bottle my mother just sent it in a bag so i just tip a little bit inside the pot and it changed the color of the fish and yeah and that is my version my version of my my if you're doing black in my my is the same thing in the french restaurant it's something similar to this one the way how i do it it's something similar for black in my my because when the, normally they say when the my my black that is black in my my but i just find you know you cook the fish the way how you feel is best for you you put the fish out you would enjoy it for you and your family and that's about it so 
for my lunch today basically I'm just having some my my fish and that's it as you can see inside the plate I wish you guys could just taste it could just taste it to see how delicious it is and so good and the Jamaican pepper and the lemon oh my god it send it over the top it's so good One thing with my mind, <laughs> look here for the bones. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tastes so good. It's so delicious, guys. So delicious. For people who eat dumpling and banana, this is really a good sauce. A good fish sauce to go with your dumpling and your banana <laughs> but I don't want that right now I just want the fish I just want the fish mm -mm. so good so so good So listen guys, I'm going to make some my my fish today. Yes, some Creole my my fish. So this is my 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 fish. What I'm doing now, I'm just cutting it up so I could clean it up properly, wash it with some lemon, put some slice in between it, clean the inside properly, you know, clean up all that muck from outside with the lemon wash it properly and then I'm going to season it up and then I'm going to show you guys how I make my Creole Mai okay so I have washed my Mai Mai with lemon you guys know all know the old process of that already so what I'm going to do I'm going to put my good old complete season on my Mai Mai turn it turn it around turn it Jesus yes my complete season on it i'm going to rub that in the oil you see the the slices i make i'm going to make sure the complete season reach in between all those oil there put some more can never be too much and i'm just seasoning it up like so and I'm going to leave this for half an hour half an hour and meantime I'm going to cut up some red pepper some green pepper some garlic some thyme and I'm going to saute or snare what do you call that word the fish fry up the fish and then i'm going to take it from the pot and then i'm going to saute the veggies and then i'm going to place back the fish inside of the the veggie so inside this pot i have some vegetable oil in there so what i'm going to do i'm going to take my 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 fish and i'm just going to place it right there inside it just like that place the other piece there. and I'm going to leave it for like four minutes on one side and four minutes on the other side okay guys so I did have to get my special guard to put on top of the the pot because it was just flashing like crazy so what I'm going to do now I'm going to turn my fish just like that it's almost finished now and i'm going to put by the splasher guard because if i don't use the splasher guard we're going to have a lot of oil inside here because it will splash splash all over the place so it's good for you to have one of these 
so whenever time you're frying anything you can just place it on top of it so my 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 is finished so what i'm going to do it's not quite finished but i'm just going to take it out from the pot see take it out place it in a pan With all this inside the pot bottom, I'm going to put my veggies or my seasoning, I don't know what you guys call it, in the pot, like that. My red pepper, my green pepper, my onion, my thyme, some garlic in the pot. Going to saute them for a few minutes, then I'm going to add a little bit of water to the pot and then I'm going to place back the fish inside the pot. Okay, guys, so you see my veggies are sauteed up. So, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to add a little bit of water to it, like that. And I'm going to add me some red pepper flakes in it. Normally, if you have saison, you add saison inside it. But I don't have any saison home, but I have something next to saison. I don't know if you can see. It's a Jamaican season. What it's going to do, it's going to change the color immediately of the, the water. You see? They become a little bit orange. You can see that? Yes. Like that. inside this pot of all this goodness of the mai mai you can see i didn't had nothing more to it i did just the complete season so what i'm going to do i'm going to cover the pot now and i'm going to wait until um it start to boil like it start to cook and then i'm going to taste it to see if it wants any more season and then at the finishing you will see what i you're going to see guys what i do so let me cover it and leave it to steam down. Put your fire on low heat and yeah. Okay guys, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to add some tomato ketchup to the pot. Stir that in a little bit. Okay guys, so my mai mai is finished, so I'm just going to take it with a spoon to scoop it out, put it on top of my plate like that, put me some gravy all over it, on top of it, and there you go guys. My, my, my fish. My fish? Remember to like, share, subscribe, and our notification bell for all our newest videos. And to comment what else you want to see us do. And I where you came. Where you're watching from. And bye guys.